Hi everyone, it's Nick here from Notero. Today we're going to take a look at clinical notes. We're going to show you how you can create clinical notes within seconds. We're going to show you uh, some of the features and some of the efficiencies built into the system to save you time. Before we do that, we're going to take a look at the dashboard here. I'm logged in as the admin. And as the admin, I can see all the practitioners or therapists within my clinic and the amount of notes that are in draft form. If you want to see those notes, you can just click on this triangle here. It'll expose the notes. Before we talk about clinical notes, we should take a look at templates. So when we take a look at the templates, we have a number of types of templates that you can create within Notero. So if you look at forms, these are the forms or uh, the um, documentation that you'd be sending to your clients or to a patient. When we're taking a look at clinical notes, this is any internal documentation or notes that you would use within the system. And you can see I've created a number of notes. We have um, a number of widgets that we've built in that you can add to your clinical notes. We have a video on how to create clinical notes and forms. So you might want to take a look at that on how to customize that. And you can create as many uh, clinical notes and even forms that you need. So we're going to go to the calendar, but before we do that, we're going to switch over to the practitioner view. So I'm logged in as an admin. We're going to switch over to the practitioner view because I want to show you some other features that we have. So we'll show, we'll go to the practitioner view. Um, and so now I'm logged in as a practitioner. If I go to my calendar, uh, this is probably the most efficient way um, when you're um, creating clinical notes is if you could do it directly from your calendar. So I'm going to just go to the week view and you can see I have a number of appointments that are lined up here. Um, today happens to be the 28th, but we're just going to look at this column here for now uh, for the 29th. So if I click on Liam Smith, as an example, I can see that there's a clinical note and all I need to do is click add note. When I click add note, um, I get the number of templates here. You can see I have um, the templates that we just looked at. So we'll just create a daily clinical note for Liam. And you can see I have the scribe feature here. And so what Scribe does, so if I click on this, and I'm not actually going to Scribe, but if I click on this, all I have to do is talk about, um, you know, how the person presented, uh, the treatment of that, uh, that consisted of that day, or any other information. It could be an assessment, or it could also be a conversation that you have uh, between yourself and your patient or your client, and it will also pick up that information. Um, once you send off that information, we will return it, and we will put it in a form that you can review it and then you can push that into a note and we'll take a look at how that works as well. So there's a video explaining um, in more detail on how the scribe works. So that's one way that you can create a note. The benefit of doing a scribe is the person um, could be getting, uh, I mean, you can, you can be in between people and it takes 30 seconds to maybe two minutes that you can just talk in here and then you can get ready for your next person. So it's a very effective and efficient way of creating notes and then at the end of the day you just review all your scribes and then you uh, push them into the, your notes and I'll, and I'll show you that in a minute. So that's one way that you can create clinical notes. Uh, the other way is if I go to Karen Karen here and I add a note, um, you'll see that this drop down is a bit different. It has the note templates that Liam had but because I've finalized previous clinical notes I can just duplicate. So these are three previous clinical notes. I can just click initial visit and what that's going to do is it's going to grab all this information uh, from the appointment. It's going to add it to the clinical note plus the, the previous note. And um, once you duplicate a note, all you have to do is quickly review it and you can make additions or edits to that note and then finalize it. So this is probably the quickest way once a, a clinical note is well documented. Uh, this is probably the quickest way that you can uh, create a note. And so within, you know, a couple, uh, it's a few clicks, a quick review, and finalizing your note is done. So again, this is uh, the, probably the most efficient and quickest way if you have your documentation uh, really well uh, done. So we'll close this. Um, and so again, from the calendar, that's a, an easy way of uh, doing it. If I um, go to my dashboard and you'll see what I was talking about my scribes. And so these are the scribes. Um, again, these are from a, a previous day, but um, imagine again, in between your clients or your patients, you just quickly spoke, sent that information off, and then at the end of the day, you just come in review all, and this is the form. So it brings it back um, in, a, in a note form where you can push it to different sections, and I can just 
click add and finalize and my note is done so um it you know you can if you spend say 30 minutes or 60 minutes uh doing notes every day this can reduce it down to five or ten minutes by the end of the day to do all your notes so again a very quick and efficient way of doing your notes so the, the calendar is um as I seen, probably the most efficient because it's just a few clicks. There is another way that you can do notes. So if, if I go to Liam Smith, back to the calendar, um, this is the daily clinical note that I've started, um, and we'll look at that. I'm just going to go to the view pro, uh, view profile because I want to show you the clinical notes, and this is the one that we created from the the calendar, and um, it shows you some information. Uh, who has access, so everyone has access to the notes, whether a follow-up email has been sent, there's no invoice, and there's an, a, uh, an appointment associated to this. If you don't use a calendar, you can just come and click Add New, and you still have the ability to create a clinical note uh, from a template. If I had finalized notes, I have the ability to also duplicate that finalized note from this view. So exactly like the calendar, so if you don't use the calendar, you can also do, you have the same functions or features from uh, the patient or client directly. So let's go ahead and take a look at a note if, we've got, if we go into it. And there's that uh, scribe feature that I was talking about as well before. So again, if you're doing it not from the calendar, you wanna do it from the note, you can also scribe directly from here. So again, all sorts of different ways that you can do it, you're not locked into one way. Um, this information is all pulled. And because these are templates, this just happens to be a template that I grab. And again, completely customizable. This is a this section here is a widget. Um, I was talking about widgets before when you're creating templates. So this is already built in or baked into the system. So you can just add this widget to a template that you're creating. This one just happens to be a custom soap note section. And so you can see there's a different types of questions in here. Like there's a short answer, a pain scale. Um, this is a... Um, uh, multiple choice type question. So again, if you want to build your own sections, you can build your own sections. This has a lot of features in it. And again, there's another video showing you how to, you know, tag um, or use this widget uh, within our system. Uh, just some top level uh, features that they do have. So um, there's also included a full assessment. So regionally, you can assess any of these regions. There's a neural section and a posture section. And again, this is covered in depth in another section. You can draw as well. So we have a drawing tool on this. You can select, you know, a number of diagrams. We have quite a few diagrams already built into the system. So again, another efficient and effective way that you can um, create your notes or complete your notes. Um, you, we also have something called snippets and snippets, um, again, the practitioner stores this information and this is any information that you want to quickly add. So any repetitive information. So for example, if I go to the uh, treatment plan, I click on the forward slash, um, all these, um, little short forms here, uh, I've put this in and I put the information in. So these are the short forms for, for what I use. And so for example, maybe it's low back treatment and then I hit enter and it puts, you know, whatever um, content I put in there. So uh, another way of quickly adding content, um, you can also dictate. So if you have your device turned on to speech to text anywhere in the input, you can also dictate into, um, into any of the inputs. Um, and so again, the snippets are a very quick way. Dictation is a very quick way. So again, there's some tooling that you can use directly within the note if uh, when you're documenting. Um, so that is, you know, and then once you're done a note, um, you can, you know, hit finalize. So there's a number of quick, uh, quick and efficient ways uh, that we've um, set up our clinical notes. And, um, you know, the goal is to try and, uh, you know, make the product as effective and efficient for you. So, you know, we can keep you uh, out of the, out of uh, Notero and um, saving the time that, uh, that um, you know, we give back to you and, and the things that you want to do. So, you know, thank you for watching. Please click subscribe if you'd like to be notified as uh, new videos are released. So thanks again.